This example course is supposed to be a Math 111 class. So what I'm gonna do is edit, turn editing on. I'm gonna remove some of this material and I'm gonna import it from my other real Math 111 class. So I'm just using the edit delete several times. You may want to use this syllabus right here, this template, but I already have a syllabus written, so I'm gonna import my syllabus and several other things. I'm gonna throw this away, we should probably throw this away. Okay, so we've cleaned out a lot of this stuff. I'll also import some things into the first week. All right, how do we import? We're gonna scroll way down. You should have somewhere in here, the administration uh, box. You can't delete it, but you can move it or configure it. I usually put it near the bottom. Your students do not get to see the administration block. And I'm gonna go to import. So this is how you get items from other classes that you have. Now there's 10 classes listed here, but maybe my class isn't listed and I want to see all of my Math 111 classes. So if I had things that weren't math, I could be a little more specific with MTH111. So all my Math 111 classes, I can pick which one. I'll take the most recent, which is Winter 21 and hit continue. Uh, you can only select one of these. So I hit continue. I uh, usually leave all these selected. If you jump to final step, you will import everything, which you may want to do or you may not. So I'm just gonna hit regular next. Now I get to choose what to bring in. And you could just get select all, but I'm gonna hit none so I can select one at a time. So the first thing you notice, I need a syllabus but I'm clicking and it's not actually selecting because above all these, I have to click the section. And if you notice, it kind of uh, made them a little bit more bold, these boxes. Now I can check these boxes. I want my getting started videos, my textbook. I are, you already have a bunch of these. This is a label, so this is already in the class, so I don't need to re-import those. There's already course resource label, but I want to import my how to succeed. I already have NetTutor. Uh, I'll leave that zoom link alone. Maybe I want a bunch of these. Okay. You do not import course outcomes assessment. We'll put that in a class automatically. Now I want to also import things from the first week. So again, I have to, I can't click anything from the first week until I click the first week itself. And I'll just import my forums and maybe some additional, all my 1.1 stuff. That'll be enough for now. In general, I'll import quite a bit more. So you can do that to any week you want. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. And I'm gonna hit next. This is a summary of what I'll be importing right here. And it should have green checks next to what you selected and red X's next to what you did not select. So I'm just quickly scrolling through just to make sure. All right, everything from 1.1 is selected. Now I'll scroll to the bottom and uh, perform import. It's gonna take a few seconds here. When this is done, we're gonna go look at it. So continue. Okay, it always puts what was in there first. It keeps it at the top and puts what you imported down below. So here's my getting started videos. I wanna put that first, so I'm gonna click and then drag it up to the top. Now you can reorder any of this stuff, maybe my syllabus I want first, textbook second. And you can move any of the other things around that you want. Maybe you want how to succeed, like way up high, all right. You can move any of these around you want to, and if you imported something by accident, and you didn't mean to, you can always go ahead and delete it. Hit yes, delete yes, whatever you didn't want. Uh, you can also edit any of these by edit settings. All right, we're gonna look at the first week here and you can do the same thing in the first week. I can move any of these things around and maybe I wanna indent or unindent the quiz, you can move left and right as well. 